Hi everybody, welcome to the quick walkthrough for the Watts 1020 Introduction to JavaScript Programming for the Web Atomapp project. So with this project, what we're going to do is add a map to a page. We're actually going to do a few other things as well to a page. And we're going to make something that looks a lot better than what we have at the outset. So um, to uh, get an idea of what all is required here, I'm going to just kind of walk through this repository. Uh, these are the, the core resources that you have in the repository. You're going to need to fork this and clone it out to your development area. You can then uh, work through the to-dos that you find both in the index.html file uh, as well as in the main.js file in the JS directory. So this assignment asks you to create an information page a page with some information about some location. So for the example that I've used in, uh, in, in the HTML that I provided you, I've used Mount Rainier and I've borrowed a lot of information from the Mount Rainier Wikipedia entry, uh, which of course is free for us to use, especially for educational purposes. And um, you are free to make this about any location that you prefer, but don't let that become the main point of the assignment. The point of the assignment is to make the page uh, elegant and interactive, uh, not so much to to make something with a lot of custom information. So I'd say I'd rather you spend your time enhancing the JavaScript and the CSS if you have additional time and effort. Um, but if you want to make something truly unique for your portfolio, uh, by all means, go ahead and find information about your own favorite location. It doesn't take a whole lot to cobble together enough information to uh, to represent on the page here. So what, what you're going to do is go through uh, this index.html file and you'll find uh, to-dos listed. Um, so for example here, we want to put in a carousel. Uh, we have a bunch of images in the image directory. I'll show those in a second. And uh, we want to put in a carousel that shows those images. You can also uh, go to the Wikipedia page. You could get... Uh, look up those images which are all linked on the on the Wikipedia page about Ma Mount Rainier and you could add uh, uh, captions and uh, headings and, and things like that to even greater enhance the carousel. You also should create a tab panel and you have a partial implementation of a tab panel structure but you need to uh, figure out how to complete all of these things and trigger bootstrap to make these structures. So the way that you're going to do that, um, if you go to the Bootstrap documentation page, you can go under JavaScript and you're going to see that over here uh, we actually can can find carousels. And so we see the example. This is how the carousel works in the example. And this is the HTML that's used to create the carousel. You should be able to translate this into your own HTML. And then we can also click tab and here is an example of a tab menu and you should be able to use this example of the markup to create your own tab structure inside the HTML file. So you have all the information there that you need to represent, you just need to reformat it so that it is able to trigger the, the tabs and the carousel uh, function have a little more styling to do, styling this definition list to make it look beautiful. And then we're going to use leaflet.js to put in a map. So leaflet.js is uh, a really beautiful mapping tool. Um, you know, we can uh, use it. It works just like uh, a Google Maps embed. We can uh, use custom tile sets and everything to make different looks and feels to it. We can draw on it and put little uh, icons and so forth on it. And then we can actually make those interactive as well so that we have pop-ups and everything that can show when you click. So this is all really uh, well and good and uh, it works very, very well. But I will warn you a little bit in advance that this bit of directions here about setting the tile layer is a little bit confusing. And so when you do this, um, if you follow these directions exactly, don't forget that you're going to need to click over to Mapbox, sign up for a free account, 
and then in your account profile you'll get a map ID and you're gonna need to put that map ID right here in this URL if you want to use this example exactly how it is now I've actually provided you with a different example which you can see here in the repository and I'll show this for just a moment but in this example I actually established three different layer types and these do not require you to sign up so you can use these sort of as is so feel free to consult that if you get stuck on that layers part that's a a bit trickier than than we'd like but otherwise you'll work your way through this main.js in order to implement the map quest uh, map with a couple of layers and so the results of that if you look over here in the snippet the results of that map will look something like this and so we'll end up with a little selector where we can pick different tile sets and then we'll be able to zoom in and out and have good functionality like we would expect so once we're all done this page will be an elegant page that looks beautiful and has some cool interactive features to contain a large amount of information but to present it in a way that doesn't necessarily feel as overwhelming and doesn't require you to scroll as long as you will here so we'll have some tabs under here we'll have a map and then we'll have some links and it'll be a, an elegant little landing page to take you to more information about Mount Rainier so that's that's the basics of this assignment I, I did want to let you know that there are in the image directory there's a directory called carousel and here are images and these images are available for you to use you should definitely look them up on Wikipedia and uh, and get their their information to put into the captions and whatnot so that you have proper citations and captions but uh, regardless that's that so these are the basic requirements take care of all the to do's add a carousel add tabbed information enhance the styling uh, all throughout and add a map um, and then for your stretch goals add more functionality to your map uh, you could do all, all kinds of different things um, if you read through uh, leaflet.js has a great documentation section with great information uh, you could use bootstraps affix feature so that as you scroll down the navigation stays steady and you can always click that to get to different parts of the page um, you could create a smooth scroll effect uh, you can make better use of uh, different icons and so forth to add uh, to the styling and visual presentation um, and you can just uh, make everything just a whole lot more beautiful and you can make it more elegant by exploring more animation functionality in JavaScript, more CSS functionality in JavaScript, all sorts of things to transform this sort of humdrum page into something that, uh, that really catches your eye. So good luck, focus on making that beautiful, beautiful presentation and have a blast drawing your map.